hello everyone in this video we will learn to design a program to find addition of two matrices using array variables now we'll start our program go to your standard.exe window and adjust your form now i'll change the font size of my form go to font property and set it to 50 bold 50 okay to perform this task, we need four labels, three text box, and three command buttons. We'll place those controls on these forms. Label 1, I'll place a rectangle shape to design my output. Now we'll place the remaining controls inside this box. Label 2. Label 3. And label 4. And as I said, three text box we need to place it. The three text box are 1, 2, and three command buttons one two and three you can drag and drop your commands wherever you want to place it i'll place and show you now you can see that i have placed all the controls wherever i want to place it now we we'll change the properties of each and every control I'll go to label one caption and give as addition of two matrices. You can go to auto size and make it true so that the box gets adjusted to your length of your text. Now I'll change the bag color of my heading. and go to the shape property and I'll change the background color you can see that the color is not visible inside this rectangle shape to make it visible go to back style it is turned as 0 0 means false it will not appear in your screen make it to appear or visible you can make it to true now you can see that it is visible now go to the border width and change it to size 9 so that it will be little more thicker than the before and the border color i'll give now we'll change the properties of these controls label 2 i'll give us first matrix and for label 3 i'll change it to second matrix For label 4, I'll give it as sum of two matrix. So you can drag it and adjust. Now we'll change the properties of the text box. We'll erase the content of the text one and go to the name and change it to first. And for text box two, I'll give the name as second. And I'll change the text. I'll just erase it so that we can input the numbers. And text 3, I'll erase it and I'll set the name to result. Now I'll we'll change the properties of commands. For command 1, I'll give us name add and the caption space and present addition. 
command to the name is clear and for caption I'll give us opposite clear and for command to we'll give the caption as ampersand quit and the name I'll give exit so now we have designed our form we'll see the outlook of this form go to start button and execute it this is your outlook of your form I had placed four label buttons this is label buttons means it will not be edited at the running time or at the printing outputting output time so the, in this stage you cannot edit this words that is the non editable captions of the are called the labels and these three are the textbooks you can input or type anything in your textbook these two text text box i am using it for first matrix and second matrix and the third text box i am used to print the sum of the two matrix and three common buttons I have used and the first common button is to find the calculation or calculate the value of my task and the second is to clear the content of these three text box and set my focus to the first text box this cursor remained in the first text box as soon as I clear my screen and this quit I use it to exit from my output screen now we'll do coding for these commands to code for addition double click on this addition command button so this is our coding screen before start coding you have to declare the variables which we will be using in your coding we'll declare the variables i j r c1 array variable a b and c as integer enter now we'll assign values to the r and c1 val of input box enter row number we'll close it Enter. Now we'll assign values for the C1 equals to val of input box open enter column number. You can close it. Enter. Now we'll redeclare the variable A that is to 1 to R comma 1 to C1 and close enter it we start the looping I equals to 1 to R enter for J equals to 1 to C1 enter A I comma J equals to will ask for the elements that is val of input box open it enter first matrix elements close it enter now we'll assign these elements to the text box one that is first dot text equals to first dot txt and give to space an again concatenation operator a of i comma j close it enter give a next statement again enter give first dot txt I'll explain this code once we finish the entire coding. One second. B. Sorry. We 
we should give vp new line give a next statement now you have to copy these statements from read dim to the last next copy it and press enter and paste your copied code now you have to change the variable to be and text box to second you change it here also b and in enter first matrix elements you have to give it as second matrix elements second and this text box name is second here also and here also b again press enter and paste your coding and give here as c here also c and erase this statements and type a of i comma j plus b of i comma j and here give as result because our third text box variable is result here give as c here also change it now we have finished coding for our calculation part now we will see the explanation of this your coding starts here we are coding for the add command button that is a clickable event and this is our declaration statement it says that whatever variable we will be using in our coding of this part it should be declared before it is used and these two variable i am using called for loop and this for rows and this for columns and this, these three are the array variables to store the first matrix, second matrix and the resulted matrix. And this, this statement says that through input box we are asking for the number of rows and storing it to the variable R. Likewise for column we are asking for column numbers and storing it for C1 variable. Now we will again re-declaring the array variable and giving the condition that the index should move from 1 to R and 1 to C. That is if I give R means my row variable as 3 and column variable as 3, it moves from 1 to 3 and 1 to 3 and it starts looping. The first row gets printed and the second columns gets printed. Now through this input box, we will ask the array variable for the A variable that is first matrix. We will ask it through input box and it gets stored in the array variable that is A. After getting the input from the user, we have to store this in the first text box. A first text box name is first and it gets stored in the first text box. Whatever the loops executes and store it and add it to the uh, text box with the help of concatenation string operator and we'll give the empty quotation mean, sorry spacing quotation if you give space quotation it will leave space between your numbers and this next statement terminates your column loop and this again stores the values from the uh, row looping statement and it moves to the next new line and this statement terminates the entire loop and again we will do for the second matrix that is re, re declare your b variable and move it from 1 to r and 1 to c index and start looping for both rows and columns and store it and ask for the enter elements means ask for the second matrix elements and store it to the second text box that is second and this column gets terminated and the row gets here terminated.
now we read declare for the c and we'll start looping for rows and columns and here we are performing the addition of two matrix so it the matrix first and the ma second matrix operator that is plus operation it is added and store in the array variable 3 and again we are printing it to the result text box that is our third text box here get uh, the it gets terminated the column and here the rows get terminated now we need coding for the addition we will go to coding for other two command buttons double click on this clear and type your first text box name dot txt equals to empty quotation here you have to note that see here we have used two quotations with spacing if you give spacing it will print at as it is in your text box when you give without spacing any character or anything nothing you should give anything and give it with like open and close it you don't have to press any keys if you give like this it will get cleared from your text box this clears the first text box we'll do for second also second dot txt equals to empty quotations enter it and result text box equals to empty it enter now we have to set the focus that is the cursors should remain in the first text box for that first dot txt sorry set focus so we need coding for this and we'll do code for the quit command double click on this you can give unload me or end me i'll give end now we'll execute this code and check for an error any error is occurring or what sorry now press on the addition button it will ask the enter row number i'll enter it to press enter key and give column number 2 press enter key and asking for enter first matrix elements i'll give the elements keep entering the elements by pressing enter key 2 3 4 5 now it's asking for enter second matrix elements for second we'll type it enter 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 now see it has calculated 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 6 9 4 plus 8 12 5 plus 2 7 now we'll clear if we clear the focus should be here the cursor should remain the first matrix we'll check it i'll press clear see here this cursor is clicking here if i press quit command it should come out from this screen we'll check quit it came out our coding is successful i hope this video will help you if you have any doubt you can comment below in the comment sections i will meet you in the next future videos keep supporting and keep learning don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching stay safe take care bye bye